Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment, we're going to talk about the cobra lily, also known as Darlingtonia californica. The cobra lily is called a cobra lily because it kind of looks like a cobra. It comes up like a little head or a little pitcher plant. They call it a pitcher, too. And it'll eat bugs. The cobra plant eats insects, just like a Venus flytrap does. And the first plant that was ever discovered was in discovered near Shasta Lake in California. So it grows in the woods in really wet areas. So when you're growing it as a house plant or as a plant, you need to consider those conditions. And grow it just like a Venus flytrap. So the most important thing that you need to do is grow it in some moss. They're found in damp places. So they like a lot of moss or real organic airy material like orchid. Um, peat or anything that you would grow a Venus flytrap in and make sure not give it any direct sun They like diffuse sun. They like a little bit of shade and they like a lot of humidity So the easiest thing you can do is put them in a little terrarium or put a glass bowl over it So make sure that it's always moist and it never dries out. You can even put plastic around it That's an easy way to make a little terrarium and never use um, regular water out of the tap because the chlorine will kill it. It's very sensitive to chlorine. So use distilled water. That's always better than the fresh water. Another easy way to water any type of um, pitcher plant or cobra plant is with ice cubes. So you just set the ice cube on top of the plant and it'll sl slowly soak up the moss will soak up the water and that way it won't just run through the plant and it'll stay really healthy that way. You never want to let it dry out completely because you'll lose it right away. And you want to give it a dormant spell too. So don't be worried when it dies. That's what always happens with the Venus flytraps or the cobra lilies. They just die and you think you've killed it. But in the end it has a little bulb type root underneath. And you just throw your plant in the refrigerator for about two to three months. Two months is usually enough and keep it on the dry side, but not all the way dry. Don't let it just sit in water. Just make sure it's moist like a sponge would be, but not dripping. And then turn around and take it out again and put it in that diffused light. It likes the east window better than a west window here on the west coast because the sun comes up on the east and it has that morning sun as opposed to the hot afternoon sun. And you'll find it'll come back and grow again for you. So no fertilizer either. They don't like any fertilizer at all. So the cobra plant is really a darling and it's easy to grow.